consistently sunny weather and 70 miles of magnificent coastline, along with mouth-watering Mexican cuisine, a thriving nightlife and one of the country's favorite zoos, draw active types and sun seekers alike to San Diego all year. Then there's the beaches, visit Mission Beach to catch a wave, La Jolla to soak up the rays, and Coronado to take a leisurely seaside stroll. When you're ready to trade in your flip-flops and board shorts for more formal attire, there are pockets of vivacious nightlife throughout the city, particularly near the historic Gaslamp Quarter. Stick around until the end to find out three ways to save you money on this trip to San Diego. The months of March through May, as well as September through November, are ideal for a visit to San Diego. When compared to the peak summer season, you can find some great deals on travel rates during the low seasons. However, due to the warm weather, which averages around 60 to 70 degrees year-round, there is never a bad time to visit. But that doesn't always imply that there will be plenty of sunny days. Overcast days are common in May and June, so much so that the months are nicknamed May Grey and June Gloom by locals. When it comes to rain, San Diego receives the most during the winter months, so a day at the beach is out of the question. The personality of San Diego is a blend of Spanish, Hispanic and American influences. In 1542, Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo was the first European explorer to land in San Diego. For the first time, the colonization of San Diego's indigenous people brought a Spanish influence to the city. Mission Basasilla San Diego de Alcala, the first of the 21 California missions established by Spaniards, was founded here in 1769 and is regarded as the birthplace of Christianity on the West Coast. Old Town, the first permanent Spanish settlement on the West Coast, is located directly beneath the mission. Balboa Park is yet another example of San Diego's Spanish influence. Not only is the park named after a Spanish explorer, but it also contains a number of Spanish Renaissance-style buildings. With the United States-Mexico border just 16 miles south of downtown, it should come as no surprise that San Diego is home to a delectable selection of top-notch Mexican cuisine. Mexican restaurants of all sizes can be found everywhere, from more affluent areas like La Jolla and Point Loma to highway strip malls. If you're looking for a good place to start, go to Barrio Logan for some of the most authentic food. The California burrito comes with carne asada, cheese, pico de gallo or guacamole, and french fries. You should also try the carne asada fries, which come topped with carne asada strips, cheese, salsa, and beans. Of course, you must try the fish tacos. While staples such as the California burrito, carne asada fries, and fish tacos exist, they are hybrids. Mole, pan dulce from Panchita's Bakery, and camangos, a mango and chamoy smoothie or sorbet from Tocumbo ice cream, are more authentic to Mexico. Here are some ways to save money on your trip to San Diego. Check the calendar throughout the year, there are numerous events and conventions that draw thousands of visitors at any given time. To avoid paying high hotel rates, plan your trip around San Diego's event calendar. Skip summer this is peak tourist season, so hotel rates are skyrocketing while availability is at an all-time low. Instead, plan a trip in the early spring or late fall. Hang your hat downtown hotels on the beach or overlooking the bay charge exorbitant fees for their spectacular views. The further you get away from the water, the more affordable the lodging becomes. Driving is the best way to get around San Diego. You'll notice that the trolley and bus routes aren't as well connected as in other cities, so if you want to fully experience everything, you're better off driving yourself from point A to point B. You can rent a car at San Diego International Airport, which is about two and a half miles northwest of the city center, or take a taxi and then rent a car once you arrive. Taxi fares from the airport to downtown San Diego vary depending on traffic, but a one-way ride should cost around $12 to $15. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more travel content.